Hello guys, this is Zach. <clears throat> what the hell? Ah, that's better. Hello guys, this is Zach Sueda with HVAC Shop Talk Podcast and the HVAC Shop Talk YouTube channel, which you're watching right now. Congratulations. I want to talk to you a little bit about enthalpy. And this is one of those things that sounds really, really complicated. Enthalpy. Is it enthropy? Is it enthalpy? Who knows? A few guys do. It's not an extremely complex subject, but when you read the definition, which I actually brought up on the screen here, I'm going to read you the definition. And this is how definitions are invented to make you feel like you can never understand something. The way that some of these terms are explained out there make them seem really insurmountable as far as learning. So check it out. Enthalpy is a thermodynamic quantity equivalent to the total heat content of a system. It is equal to the internal energy of a system plus the product of pressure. Okay, so that's really nice. But technicians out there aren't going out to the homeowners going, ma'am, I need to go get my thermohygrometer so I can make sure that we have a thermodynamic quantity equivalent to the total heat content of a system that is acceptable. Because the homeowner is going to be like, what? And they should be, because it's one of those terms that you just, you know, they don't care about. They really don't. But you need to know sort of what its use is. And over time, I think using something and learning about it will go hand in hand. I could tell you the definition all the live long day, but it sounds like Greek half the time. But using enthalpy is something you definitely need to do. And you can get a really quick BTU output. Not a specific one, just a general use BTU output, as long as you have a little bit of data and one of the thermohygrometers that can give you an enthalpy measurement. I'm going to put one up on the screen right now. It is the DTH35 from UEI. It'll give you an actual enthalpy measurement, so it'll make this really, really easy. So the capacity, AC capacity is BTUs equals 4.5 times CFM times change or delta H. All H is is enthalpy. And I guess that H stands for heat. Why they can't make it an E, I don't know. Why they can't call it just heat, I don't know. These are the things that we can wonder, but it really doesn't matter. So if you have a little bit of data, you can really get a quick capacity really fast. So CFM, the most common place to get CFM is going to be doing static pressure. Now, if you have your blower chart and you can hook up your dual port manometer and get yourself a static pressure, then you can go ahead and have that number relatively easily. And we're actually going to do a podcast really soon, probably in January, going more in-depth on static pressure. So make sure you're subscribed to the HVAC Shop Talk podcast because we're going to make sure we start diving a little bit deeper into some of these subjects that techs need to know. So static pressure. You got your static pressure. That means you go over to your chart. Let's say you got 1,000 CFM or something like that. Then you have a 4.5, which is just a constant. So you do your 1,000 times 4.5. Okay. And then you multiply by delta H. Remember, that's change in enthalpy. So you have one enthalpy reading on the return and one on the supply. So let's say you have something like 32 and 26. So you can do all of that math right there, and then you'll get your answer right here. And just like that, you have an output capacity for an air conditioner. Now, static pressure isn't the most precise thing as far as calculating capacity, but if you're having to confirm that a machine is working, it's a pretty simple process to go through. All you have to do is have the instrument to measure enthalpy. Now you can calculate enthalpy based on other measurements, but why not just go ahead and have an instrument that does enthalpy? And like I said, I always use the UEI DTH 35. It's a good instrument. It's perfect for the job and it works every time. Guys, I hope you like this quick tech tip. Have a happy, happy Friday and I'll see you on the next one.